Lucy and her best friends, Lily, Joy, and Rhonda, were having a pajama party. They decided to watch a movie in the living room. Lucy went to the kitchen to get some snacks. When she returned, she saw that Lily was lying on the floor unconscious. Rhonda said, I was on the phone talking to my boyfriend. Suddenly, Joy hit Lily with a pillow and she fell down. I don't know why. Joy said, Rhonda's lying. She hit Lily with a pillow very hard on purpose. Who's lying? Both of them. There are no pillows in this room. After the movie, the girls decided to play with a Ouija board. They called the ghost of a famous singer. Suddenly, the pointer on the board started moving by itself and wrote this. Evil Lots Yad 3 Eva Hoy. Can you help Lucy and her friends decode this message? It says, you have three days to live. The girls freaked out and interrupted the session. Lily offered everyone to take some pictures. They took many cute photos, but when they scrolled through the gallery, they freaked out even oh, more. No. Why? All four friends are in this picture, but then... Who took it? Lucy told her friends it was time to get some sleep. But as soon as they entered the room, they ran out ah! screaming. Why? Look at the mirror. It reflects a creepy shadow waving at them. Eventually, Lucy offered her friends to sleep in her parents' bedroom and she opted for the couch in the living room. The TV was on, and it calmed her down. In the middle of the night, she heard some noise from the bedroom and hurried to check on her friends. All of them seemed to be sleeping. Can you guess which one wandered outside? Lily, she has leaves in her hair. The next day, Lucy, Rhonda, and Lily met in the classroom. They were very concerned. Why? This is Joy's desk, and it's empty. She didn't come to school. Neither did she warn anybody. Look, Lucy is carrying a cup of coffee with Joy's name. Joy didn't show up and didn't answer her friend's calls. Lucy, Rhonda, and Lily went to visit her. They found the girl in bed, under a blanket. The friends got very scared. Can you tell why? Joy has covered the window with a blackout curtain, and the shape of her ears and teeth has changed. She's turning into a vampire. Lily decided to stay and take care of Joy. Meanwhile, Rhonda offered Lucy to visit her Aunt Vera. She ran a magic shop with different potions. When Vera heard about what happened to Joy, she said, Okay, I need three ingredients to cook a healing drink. Here's the first one. When it comes to me, you go when you see red and stop at green. Can you guess the ingredient? It's watermelon. To get the second ingredient, Vera took Rhonda and Lucy to her cherry garden. Rhonda picked eight cherries, Lucy picked 13, and Vera picked 14. How many apples did they collect together? Zero. Apples don't grow in cherry gardens. Vera gave Lucy and Rhonda a hint about the third ingredient. Here it is. Can you help them crack this rebus? It's Mandragora. 
Mandragora grew near the spookiest house in town. Vera gave Lucy and Rhonda a task to find it and bring it to her store. While Rhonda was searching in the garden, Lucy decided to get a closer look at the house. She saw a sign with a weird name on it, Sioman Eprik. She went to the huge door and opened it quietly. After Lucy got inside, the door slammed shut behind her back. Tons of vampire bats rushed at her. Lucy started pulling on the door like crazy. Suddenly, she saw that there was something written on it. Change the order of letters in Sioman Eprik. She yelled the answer, and the door opened. What did the girl say? The real name of that place was Creepy Mansion. Rhonda found three root vegetables in the garden, but only one of them was Mandragora. Can you figure out which veggie Rhonda should pick? Even if you've never seen a mandrake, you can eliminate the other plants. This is definitely a carrot, and this is a beet. So the remaining one must be the mandragora. Lucy and Rhonda prepared to leave the spooky house, but suddenly they stepped on a trap hidden in the grass and fell into a deep well. They looked around and found three tunnels leading to freedom. A fire-breathing dragon was waiting in the first tunnel. It was very angry and disliked people. There was a portal leading into a black hole in the second tunnel, and huge cacti were growing all over the third tunnel. Their juice was poisonous to any human. Which way should Lucy and Rhonda choose? The third one. Look, those cacti don't have any spines, and no one's going to force the girls to drink cactus juice. Vera cooked the potion for Joy. Lucy and Rhonda took it to the girl's house. But when they entered her room, it was empty. Joy's parents said that Lily and Joy had left together. They were both acting very weird. Rhonda said, Oh no, they've both turned into vampires. We've got to find them before it's too late. Can you help them find any clues in Joy's room? Look at her laptop. They seem to have bought train tickets to go to Las Vegas to visit Joy's granny. Lucy and Rhonda boarded the train. Besides them, there were four other people in the car. One of these passengers didn't have a ticket. Can you figure out who it is? This woman. She's the only one who's hiding her head behind the headrest of her seat so that the camera doesn't spot her. When the train was going through a tunnel, the lights went out and the passengers got very frightened. When the light turned on again, one of the passengers shouted, Help me! Someone has stolen my bag! Lucy immediately realized who had done this. What about you? Any ideas? Yeah, this guy. There's some makeup lying under his seat, and his window is open. He put the contents of the bag into his backpack, and then threw the bag out the window. Rhonda and Lucy got to Las Vegas and headed for the house where Joy's granny lived, but they kept coming to the wrong houses. In the first house, they met this old lady, and in the second, there was this one. Can you tell which elderly woman is dangerous? It's the second one. She's up to something, while the first one is just getting ready for a Halloween party. Finally, Lucy and Rhonda found the right house. The door was open. When they entered, they saw Joy's granny unconscious on the floor. She had a vampire bite on her neck. Suddenly, Joy and Lily popped out of nowhere. They had pale faces, sharp teeth, and pointy ears. They came closer and closer, ready to bite their friends. Suddenly, Rhonda began laughing and exclaimed, huh, Stop fooling around, it's just a prank! How did she know?
the mirror reflects Joy, and Lily casts a shadow. They're not real vampires, it's just a Halloween prank. Joy went to take a shower to remove her vampire makeup, but someone poured paint into the shower head and the water turned green. Joy questioned Lucy, Rhonda, and Lily. Lucy said, I did my laundry and then went to cook some kiwi jam. Sorry, I gotta go, it might burn. Lily said, I took a shower and washed my hair right before you went in. What happened? Why are you so green? And Rhonda said, I'm studying for my geometry test. Can you keep it down, please? Who pranked Joy? Lily said she'd just washed her hair, but it's dry and braided. Besides, she's wearing a dress under her bathrobe. That's a pretty suspicious outfit. Rhonda decided to prank Lily. She took a balloon and a cupcake paper cup. She filled the balloon with some water and put it into the paper cup. Then she added some shaving cream on top and decorated it all with sprinkles. Now it looked exactly like a real cupcake. Rhonda was very proud of herself. Suddenly, she heard other girls entering the kitchen. Rhonda left her cupcake on a plate, along with real cupcakes, and hid under the table. Lily, Lucy, and Joy entered the kitchen, saw the cupcakes, and decided to eat them. Can you tell who took the prank cupcake? Joy, the real cream has already melted, but the shaving cream still looks perfect. Joy, Rhonda, Lily, and Lucy went out to celebrate Halloween. They knocked on the neighbor's door. Mike opened the door. The girls shouted, trick or treat. Mike said, I'm going to give you diamonds instead of sweets if you crack my riddle. You will always find me in the past. I can be created in the present, but the future can never taint me. What am I? Each of the four friends got a beautiful diamond. What did they tell Mike? The correct answer is history. The girls went to the local Halloween party. The hostess didn't want to let them in without a password, but they didn't know it. The woman liked their costumes, so she gave them a little hint. I eat clams. I live in the ocean. I move slowly. I have five arms. What am I? In no time, Joy, Rhonda, Lily, and Lucy were inside. So, what was the password? A starfish.